In this short video, we're going to take a look at a Vantic application that orchestrates the events coming from an IoT device in real time. And as those events are received, we'll look for various state changes in the stream of events. And when found, we'll work with generative AI to assist the technician in repairing the problem. The technician will also be able to interact directly with generative AI. And as the stream continues to update, it will also provide additional context to the technician to be able to optimize the repairing process. So let's take a look at our application. On the left-hand side, we have the stream service. It takes in the real-time stream of events. In fact, we can listen to that stream of events. And as a few readings come into the system, if we investigate, we can see that this is the payload that the device is sending. It's got an ID, a timestamp, all the sem sensor data, and a status. This is all coming from the IoT device itself, or in this case, from the centrifugal pump that is being operated. Underneath that, an activity pattern processes the rules. What are the optimal values for each of those readings, the temperature, the vibration, so forth? But if one of those values is not within the range, it will adjust the payload. So here, as a few more readings come through, we can see that this provides additional context. There's this new property called issue, and it has two sub-properties. It has whether an issue exists. In this case, it does not, it's false. And so the reason is empty as well. However, if there were, if the issue did exist, then the reason would be populated with any number of different reasons, temperature out of range, pressure out of range, et cetera. Underneath that, the application looks for any state changes. So if that issue property changes in any way, it will allow information to pass through the state change, which is why, as no matter how many readings come through, nothing passes through state change. But when we do have that change in status, there's something wrong with the pump, then it will go to the outbound issue. And the outbound issue is received by the issue service. It will look for whether or not the issue exists and come down this left-hand path, or if it's resolved and come down the right-hand path. If it exists, it opens up a new collaboration and engages with generative AI. And if it exists and the collaboration already exists, in other words, there's an ongoing issue with this particular piece of equipment, then it will come down this side and pretty much do the same thing with the difference being is that we do these three important things to interact with the language model. And I'll sort of adjust these just to kind of line them up because these are the three steps that occur from the real-time stream of data. And that is, there's a prompt, there is the history or the prompt being added to the history, and then the engagement of the language model itself. So what we are able to do is when the status changes and we get the initial prompt, we templatize it. So for example, here is the first template. And you can see it says, look at this modified payload for this manufacturing model. So it replaces it with the manufacturing model of the, of the pump. It provides the payload. And this says, provide one step for me to check to restore normal operation. I'll try that step and ask for more steps if I need them. When it comes down the right-hand side of the issue exists, it goes to the update prompt. This is very similar process. However, it provides a different prompt because there's already an existing issue. And so this time it says, here's the latest payload for this manufacturing model, and then the payload. Now that the reading is updated, tell me if things are getting better or worse and provide the next step for me to perform to restore normal operation. So now that we understand the entire application, let's go ahead and see the whole thing work in real time. I'm going to slide this over so we can see my mobile phone. And now we'll engage the application itself. So let's put a few more normal readings through the system. We can see them coming through. And then one of the readings suggests that there is something wrong. And we see that it, the, status, the status has changed. It goes to the outbound issue. It's, a, it's not an existing issue, so it opens a collaboration. And now on the mobile device, you see it's sent a notification. So here it says, Based on the provided sensor data and the issue temperature and vibration are both out of range for the Grunfoss CR12A FGJ, et cetera. That's the make and model of that particular pump. Step one, check the cooling system. So let's say I've tried all those steps. Now it's time for the human to interact. So I'll say, I tried all those steps. Nothing seems to have changed. What else can I try?
So now we can see that it's engaging with OpenAI. It said if checking and addressing the cooling system did not resolve the temperature issue for this make and model, here's another step you can try. Inspect and clean the pump and pellet. So now it gives me additional steps. But now, as we continue down the path, the device is still communicating. There are still more information coming into the application. When the status changes again, as it does now, you see that it, the status changes. It comes down the right-hand side this time because there is an open ticket, if you will, for this existing issue and then provides additional information. So here we can see this is based on the updated sensor data. Temperature reading for this make and model has improved and with an acceptable range. However, the vibration is still out of range, indicating a potential issue. Here's the next step you can take. I may have tried some additional things. I'll finally say, any last suggestions? Once again, a human interacts with the large language model or open AI as it is in this particular case, provides the response, and then eventually, by working together with the application, with generative AI, with the streams of data, and of course, the technician or the human involved, the readings return to normal. And when they do, the final assistant says, great job, seems like the step you took to address the problem that paid off the temperature and vibration are now within normal range. And so you've seen a simple application that encapsulates all of the mission critical attributes, reliability, availability, scalability, securability, in a single cohesive interface, where an application like this is built in hours, not days or weeks, that has all of those mission critical attributes, those mission critical capabilities, and provides collaborative interaction between generative AI, streams of data, and humans. Thanks for watching.